Hello, my friends. Welcome to the Commander's Crypt. Today, we got the top 10 creatures in competitive EDH. We have three honorable mentions Art Convinced of Agma, Simeon Spirit Guide, and Ranger Captain of Eos. Art Convinced of Agma is a relatively new card in our format, so it remains to be seen how strong this card is. But he seems pretty strong. One white and one flash. Whenever an opponent searches their library, you gain one life and you draw one card. So, in competitive EDH, people are always searching their libraries for fetch lands or tutors. This guy's going to gain you a life and draw you a card. And that extra life actually might uh, win you the game, keep you around long enough to be at the end. Simeon Spirit Guy, this allows you to do shenanigans. It's one more mana that people don't know that's in your hand. If someone tries to sports spike your commander, you flip this out. And... Your commander comes on out, or it also helps you ramp mana and Captain Ranger Captain of Eos, two white and one. When he enters the battlefield, you search your library for a creature card with converted cloud mana, or one or less, reveal it, put in your hand, and shelf your library. Sack them, your opponents can't cast non-creature spells this turn. Very, very strong with this guy. You're going to get your Esper Sentinel or your Birds of Paradise. And also, the conversion rate is good for three mana. He's a 3-3. Three, three. He's probably, in competitive EDH, going to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, creatures on the board. Number 10, the 10th most powerful, awesomest card in competitive EDH is Phantasmal Image. He allows you to copy anything. He is used a lot in competitive EDH to copy Dockside Extortionists, so you can get the advantage that your opponent has as well. Number nine, Gilded Drake. He's amazing. He's, his price reflects that, $350 to $500. One blue, one, three, three flyer. Exchange creatures. You start blinking this guy, and you can take everybody's creatures. Very, very strong card. Number eight, Douthy Void Walker. Two black, shadow. If a card would be put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere instead, exile it with a void counter on it. Sack him. You can now play that card without paying its mana cost. Very strong. This one card totally wrecks opponent's graveyard strategies and then allows you to cast the best, juiciest spell out of that whole thing. This is used a lot to cast someone else's demonic tutor. Number seven, Grand Abolisher. He's used to combo out. During your turn, opponents can't cast spells or activate abilities of artifact creatures or enchantments. So there you go. Used uh, very much to combo out. Next is Opposition Agent. Very strong. Flash, you control your opponents while they're searching their libraries. While opponents are searching their library, they exile each card they find. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color to cast them. So... You flash this out when somebody's searching for something, and now you basically wreck their whole plan. In competitive EDH, there's a lot of tutoring going on. And now he's, and while he's out on the board, you can uh, cast these uh, spells. Next is Dranith Magistrate. He's a hate bear, one white and one. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their, than their hands. This wrecks many, many competitive strategies. Next is Esper Sentinel. Whenever an opponent casts their first non-creature spell each turn, draw a card. Unless that player pays X, where X is the Sentinel's power. A couple of things here. You're either drawing cards or taxing your opponents. And if you pump S for Sentinel, that's even more that they have to pay. It'll be too much, and they will not be able to pay it. You'll be drawing cards for each, just about each opponent. Next is Birds of Paradise. Good old Bop. Number three. Mm bop da pa do wop Any uh, Hanson fans out there? I, I didn't think so. If you're playing green, you're playing Birds of Paradise. Number two is Thassa's Oracle. I, I personally don't like this card, but it's used a lot in competitive EDH. Uh, it is uh, a win con that you see a lot. And number one, of course, is Dockside Extortionist. The most powerful card to come out in Magic, maybe since Magic has been around... Very crazy, strong card. It puts you uh, in the driver's seat uh, later on. I've, I've heard of people getting from three to 40 mana from this guy. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.